I, I never really went to clubs. We've talked about this. I probably went to like five in my entire life. OK, um, but I will tell you if I ever decided to go to a club and they looked at me, checked my ID. Bro, you can't come in here. Why? Because you're you and we don't want you. Here. I would be upset, even though I don't care to go to clubs. I would be personally offended. Obviously, you, you don't even want me here just because of me. I'd be pissed. Fine. If Russia was a club, however, and Russia sent me an email in advance saying, look, nigga, you are not welcome here. We do not want to even see. We don't even watch your videos. Why would I care? Russia's just banned what another 61, 69 people from Canada can't enter into Russia. Two of those people being Doug Ford and John Tory. I don't even think Doug Ford and John Tory could like make the flight. Like, you know, how some people like their, their health conditions are so bad they can't right. travel. I think they fall in that category. Why would they care that they can't go to Russia? <laughs> Who wants to go to Russia ever? Even when all this stuff wasn't happening, Russia was never a place that I've seen people like, oh, man, yo, what my bucket list, yo, I got to go to Russia before I die. It was never a, a, a destination that somebody really wanted to go to. Who would be mad about this? Anybody involved in politics? Anybody? Uh, uh, Russia to us means nothing, right? Russia to us, we're sitting, us sitting here talking about it, or if you're, if you're even people watching this right now, unless you're Russian, uh, Russia doesn't really mean much to you. You know, you don't understand what's going on, but politically, Russia is a powerhouse because of the uh, weaponry that they that they hold, because of the army that they have, because of the money that they generate, because of the oil that they have as well. So Russia has a lot of things politically that make it important to people in politics. That's really all it has going for it. But you have to remember, if you're gonna invite somebody to your party, even if it's your political party, you got to make sure they want to be there first. Like you can't, you can't be sending out invites to everybody, just hoping some people show up. That sounds like what you're doing right now. And now you're making excuses for when people don't show up. Like yeah. if I send out this invite to, to, to 200 people and only 50 show up, I need you to remember it's because I told such and such that they can't come. <laughs> so there, <laughs> <laughs> it's on you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. You see what I did there? Ha 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 ha. So you, you, listen, Russia, you can't you can't do that. You can't be out here doing that, man. Yeah, listen, nobody. It's not it's not slick. You're not if slick. There, if, yo, if there was ever a time where Russia was a, a desirable place to go to, whether it be uh, politically or just otherwise. That's when you could be like, hi, ah, you can't come here. This is the popping spot. You're not invited right now. This second. No one wants to go to Russia. Now, I could be sounding very offensive. Of course, remember, I'm talking about the situation today. I'm not, if I, if I am, I apologize. I'm not trying to offend any Russian people out there. I love Russian people. I fools with you guys. But I'm just talking about the situation of right now. This makes no sense. This is like, this is, this, this, this is like the bully in your high school punching people out all year long, right? And then his birthday comes around and he's like, I'm not inviting you. Did your black eye heal from the last time I punched you? I don't care. You're not. Why would that person? You punched me in the face. I don't want to go anyways. Right. Like, this makes no sense to me. And I get the, the political side, but John Tory, bro, how much reach does John Tory have to impact what's going on with Russia and Ukraine right now? Or just Russia in general? Why John Tory? Who cares? You, you know what? Twitter. What I, you have on a, Twitter. Bro, you'd have more of an effect banning drake ban drake from russia it would mean more ban drake that's funny because it's true that is 100 percent true that is 100 percent true she champagne poppy no they still want him he brings money to their he brings money to them when they go down there i don't even think he goes down there either especially now and i meant what i said listen nobody nobody cares about russia and it's because of the way the media has portrayed russia unless you're russian that's do you know what i mean and that that's today that's what i meant when i said it i'd like Nobody really cares, like, unless, I, unless you're from there. Can I ask you a question? Do you think, so, you know, Russia's got some rich, I believe uh, the term is oligarchs, right? So they're super, super rich people that are also in politics, but they're rich from other means. Um, so let's just say one of these oligarchs' daughters. This, this nigga's been reading his dictionary. Come on, man. Let's just say one of these uh, oligarchs' daughters, a huge fan of Drake, 
And they're like, Drake, billion dollars. Come on down, private show. Not, the question is, isn't, do you think Drake would do it? The question is, do you think he would be safe? And I'm talking about doing the private show now, when this all this is happening now. Do you mm -hmm. think Drake would be safe in Russia to do this show? Drake. Uh, and th th listen, any anything that you say that involves the word Drake and then is followed by the word Russia at some point, my answer is going to be no, just for future reference. Okay. There's literally nothing you could say with those two words in the same sentence where my answer would be yes. I can't see anything, really. Unless you want to rush us some food. Are you sure you're not a dad? Because that was a horrible dad joke. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Um, Listen, uh... <laughs> there's somebody, there's somebody laughing. Some, I know. Somebody, somebody, one of one of our one of our uh what what was the what was the comment? 90% of our videos don't have more than 50 views, I think is what oh, I yeah. saw. That guy. Yeah. So one of those 50 people are laughing. One of those 50 people, you know. Could could be laughing at you but um uh, look the point is is russia we don't care we don't want to go to your party all right we're not interested in showing up we might send you a gift we might even send you a little response back sorry i couldn't make it maybe next time but we're we, we got our own things going on over here okay not interested thank you but no thank you uh viewing sure. public what are your thoughts john tory and doug fordzy not invited to the Russian barbecue. Do they care? Should they care? Could they even make the flight health-wise? I don't think they could. I'm pretty sure there are rides at Canada's Wonderland that they cannot go on. In fear, they might die. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope I didn't offend too many Russian people.